So uh, there's a short film documentary that's going to be at the Sundance Film Festival this year, and it's called Winding Path. Uh, it's about this woman that you see here in the middle. That's Jenna Murray. She is Eastern Shoshone Native American, and in her second year of med school at the University of Utah, Jenna participated in the Native American Summer Research in Internship, or NARI program, and the film is part of the U of U's Health's a new narrative health series. And Winding Path, what it does, it, it's focusing on Jenna's return to her tribe's reservation. Um, there is a motivator for her doing this because her father, her grandfather, uh, sadly uh, passed away after having a heart attack. Mm -hmm. And so Jenna told us that one of the big motivators is to really go into medicine uh, to help her indigenous people uh, when it comes to health care. So where my family's from, um, on the Wind River Reservation, you know, there's not like a big hospital that you can be flown to for emergency surgery or, you know, even just accessing a doctor's appointment thought about and something I hope to do. And it's really personal to me. Like I lost my grandfather to a heart attack that he, I'm confident would have survived if he lived in a city. Trying to just access even basic care is, is really difficult and even impossible for a lot of people. And so that's, that's another thing I'm really passionate about is like, well, how do we mitigate that? We have to recruit from those communities and get people who will go back. Well, Jenna uh, went on to tell us that uh, she feels that every indigenous person uh, has at least one story like hers. Um, and so uh, one, a loved one could have been saved if they had access to the right health care, and that's so tragic. We also spoke with uh, the co-director of The Winding Path, Alexandra Lazarowicz, uh, who's been in the industry for over 15 years and is also uh, native from the Luby Concrete nation, uh, nation that's up in uh, northern Canada. Alexandra says that one of her goals is, as a filmmaker is to showcase indigenous stories in an authentic way. And I think it becomes really easy for sort of mythologies and stereotypes to build based off of things you've seen on TV and movies and in Hollywood and that were written by people who are not indigenous. And I think for over time, those sort of stereotypes build and they become negative stereotypes or even they become sort of like meme stereotypes that exist on the Internet. Well, our producer, Britt, uh, was able to get a sneak peek of the documentary, and uh, she said that it's beautiful. It's something that everybody should take time out to see, especially if you plan on going to Sundance. Uh, tickets went on sale today, so you can get those online on the Sundance Film Festival website. If you want to see Winding Path, it's going to be premiering January 20th. So what is this, the 11th? Mm -hmm. So I, in about nine days. So you got to, you know, pack some patience there. Uh, Park City, uh, there's going to be a showing at uh, the Gateway on January 21st and two more in Park City on the 26th and 27th. So um, for those of you who are planning on heading to Sundance, uh, and of course you can see those folks there, they're excited about uh, standing in line. <laughs> well, I want to say go see the film.